Hello, fellow hitchhikers. Well, I have decided I'm going to take on this second staking window and do it with some analysis and actual intention. Uh, the first staking window with COGS, I, uh, I just picked a few that I liked and a few that I was able to find just within pack openings and uh, went with interest. And maybe I should just back up slightly here and uh, show you what I'm talking about. The uh, RFOX games, through their COGS, they have an incentive here, essentially an incentive to pull a lot of the COGS off the market and reward early, early players, early collectors. Uh, it's on, they released a couple Twitter posts and announcements been going on for the month of February, and this is the second staking window. It ends on February 28th, 2021. And there's this big table here, and it shows you various sets that you can collect and how many RFOX uh, tokens you'll earn and right now our fox is worth about uh, 13 and a half cents per our fox and it has done some ups and downs just in the last uh, couple weeks it's actually mainly gone up and then with a little bit of a down afterwards so when I made my first set of staking a couple weeks ago it was based on different numbers and um, uh, I, it didn't really seem like it would pay for itself that quickly uh, now, it really does pay for itself if this value holds. And with the number of announcements that are coming out and the vision that they have, um, there's more of an upside potential than a downside potential, I would say. So the way it works is there's four epochs. There's four staking windows. There's a 90-day reward, and then there'll be another 90 days, another 90 days, another 90 days. And they've committed to four rounds of these rewards. So what I did is I decided to look at it from how many rewards would there be after three cycles um, and that sort of allows me to compensate for if our fox does go down a little bit from this price and if it goes up as i suspect then um, well then i'm just happy so uh, i've i've gone with looking for a return on my investment uh, within three cycles so i took the amount of rewards so in this example here in this first one i'm looking at is uh, 3,600 rewards. Actually, let me jump down to the rare superset. So the rare superset will give me 600 RFOX every 90 days. Now, well, you can say, well, wait a second, that's not 3 times 600. Well, that's because I've converted it to wax. Um, when you purchase COGS, you purchase them in wax, and when you sell COGS, you sell them in wax for the most part. There are some roundabout ways you can do it in, in other things, but in general, you purchase and sell uh, uh, COGS with wax. So I'd rather get the RFOX because I think RFOX is going to be more valuable, but in terms of doing an evaluation for buying, I needed to get look at it in terms of wax. So if I can find something for less than 2,888 wax, that is going to enable me to make a rare superset, then it's worth it. And so I went through Wax Explorer, and I'll do a quick demo again because they made a few changes since my last demonstration video, and I found multiple sets that are less than 2,800. It isn't true for all of the sets. I couldn't, I, I played around up here in the ultra rares and they're so overpriced, but in the rare supersets, pink 17 will give me 2,609 wax, uh, in, will cost me 2,609. The blood orange 18 will only cost me 2,181 wax while giving me a return of 2,888.3 within three epochs. So I went through and I found the ones that looked like really good deals. Lots down in the common uh, that you can get your money back within three epoch cycles at the current value of RFOX. Then I decided to figure out in terms of a percentage uh, discount. So this blood orange is going to cost me 76% of what it would give me in return. So this is a really good deal. Blood orange 13 is a really good deal. And the denarius rainbow would only cost me 6,000, which I should say only, it's actually a lot of money, um, but it's going to cost me 6,000 wax, but I get 8,600 in value at the current pricings, and I think it's going to go up. So 
this is the set that I'm currently looking at. Uh, I want to just take a quick look, just for demonstration purposes on what I did, at the uncommon rainbows. So I'll jump over to Wax Explorer. And what you do is you log in, and then you go to Explorer. They moved it. This used to be underneath the account in the last demo. So you go to Collections. Or I could have just clicked the uh, cogs icon there right on that main plate page. And right here where it says Sets. This is, it took me a while to find it, but this is what we're looking for, Sets. There's 2,994 possible different combinations of sets, apparently, if that's what that number means. Once it loads up, then I like to just turn gold to false and foil to false because I figure if I can find the set cheap enough within, um, without you including the gold and the foil, then maybe I can look at, well, hey, is, are there gold ones available? Is this something I could collect up? But there's no point in concluding those uh, at the start. And I'm going to change it to uncommon because this is the one I haven't done that might have some deals and I just realized I don't have it on rainbow so I'm gonna go to rainbow and then I toggle through you can see I've already done one I've done the uh, British Army uh, and I've already staked this one I did that in an earlier video so let's take a look if I was to try and complete the future grasp futures grasp it would cost me 5,500 wax and if I come back to my spreadsheet for an uncommon rainbow, I'm only going to get 1,800, so not worth it. So 1,800 is my magic number of return on my investment in three cycles. This one has one not available, so there's no point in even pursuing this in terms of trying to tube in the next 24 hours. And I can go through 1,800. Oh, this looks really cheap. However, one's not available, so I'm not going to pursue it. This is a slammer. So if I, I usually do the slammer separate using the command F, and then I just search the word slammer. Um, but if I take a look at the slammers, they pay 5,400. And so if I look at this one, it's gonna cost me, oh, there's two not available. And when I did the slammers earlier, I came across the Black Widow was only gonna cost 5,362. So it would look like it might be worth it because I get a full return uh, within three months on my cost. But then I later on came across some of these other ones, this Rainbow Slammer for the Denarius at only 70% cost. So that's better. So I keep clicking and searching and trying to find sets. I think it's just logged me out or something's happened. But that's how I used the Wax Explorer to go through and find the sets that I might be interested in. And then it's a matter of purchasing them and tubing them, which I'm going to do within this video. I'm going to add a couple steps just because people look at how does a person get wax, and I'm going to compare two different ways, both using an exchange and using the buy wax um, change now feature that's been added to the uh, interface of the wax, and we'll, we'll see what's cheaper. So if I was going to go ahead and get this Denarius rainbow set, why don't I show you what that one looks like? Let's just verify that it's still at 6,034. Okay, so here we are, the Denarius rare. There's 53 available. I have three. It's going to cost me 6,000 uh, if they all stay available as I buy them. And I'll be able to put together that set, stake it, and hopefully earn at least $1,500 in the year uh, back on my investment. If RFOX goes up, then I'm going to be getting even more back in value. Okay, so I'm on the landing page of the your, your, wax, your wax dashboard, and there's a button down here for buy wax, and there's one that I've used in the past. In fact, I remember the first time I used Change Now for another token that I was trying to get. I was so stressed out because you just send them um, a certain amount that you commit, and then you give them the address, and within a certain amount of time, they'll return the money or return the whatever token you're wanting to that address. So it's kind of like out of your hands for a little while, and you're waiting for it to appear, and you're like, is this a scam? Um, but I have since built up confidence 
that um, that it'll work because they've always done it for me fairly quickly actually. So if I send them 0.37 ETH, I will get 6,693 deposited in my wallet. Let's compare to Qcoin. And I choose the wax ETH. And I look at the actual available volume for like 6,000 wax. Maybe uh, four zeros, one, two, three, what is that? One, two, three, four zeros, five, four, six would be the price of ETH per wax. 0.37 divided by 6693, four zeros, five, five, two, eight. So it's actually fairly comparable and a whole lot easier. Let's see, I, I'm gonna go ahead with this. The last time I, I did the comparison, I thought it would might be better to go with uh, the Qcoin. Um, Actually, the last time I already had a bunch of ETH in Qcoin, and so it was definitely cheaper because I didn't have to send it anywhere. But here I'd have to create a transaction to send it to Qcoin, do the trade, and then pay a transaction to bring it back to my wallet. Let's try this. So if I send 37, 0.37 ETH, I'm hoping to get 6,073. Exchange. I entered my address that they're going to send the wax to. So Z W C Q W dot Wham. Feel free to send me any uh, extra wax you have kicking around. Just joking, of course. Next. So I'm going to send that much wax to an address that they post. Should take within 10 to 10 minutes to an hour, and then they will deposit. The, this much wax to my ZWCQW dot wham. That's a little higher than they said originally. Now it's 80 through 86. Okay. So this is the address I have to send the 0.37 ETH to. Starts with 8F69, 8F69, ends with 360, 360. I'm going to send 0.37 ETH average. Well, I'll just say fast at that price, 395. Next. Firm. Now I suppose if this whole little adventure I do, if if ETH more than doubles, well then I should have just kept the ETH. Now if R Fox also doubles, then that's a four times multiplier because I've doubled my money plus I've doubled the R Fox. So there's sort of some compounding benefits by going ahead with the staking. Obviously, I'm not going to put everything into the staking, but I think it's uh, I think it's a good opportunity, and it also keeps me involved with the Cogs um, community and the staking. And sometimes there's other benefits that come from uh, participating. I mean, you just think of all the different airdrops that have happened, and maybe there'll be some special uh, participation drops as well. So. This is something I'm having fun doing and learning lots in the process and getting to be part of uh, a community that's doing it as well. So if you're watching this video and it's still time to stake, I would recommend at least just doing one set, even if you just one of, did one of those common 240 wax sets. So while this is happening here, I want to show you something else. People have been creating their own tube so creating a tube and instead of staking it they're selling it so they're ready to go and I found a couple really good deals I'm not gonna buy them but they're right here you'll get 1800 wax when you have an uncommon rainbow set so that's what how much you will get in three epochs you'll get more than that after the fourth epoch If we come on over to the marketplace and I can choose cogs I can start to see how much the tubes are. So I'm going to click down here on the actual tubes. Apologies for my slow internet. I will edit some of this out so that you can see the loads quicker. So in the tubes, if I go price by lowest, I can see that I can get a rainbow set, a common rainbow set for 555 wax. But when I look at what I think it is worth in terms of the risk benefit reward, only worth 240 wax. And I assumed that the markup on all of these was going to be similar to that. However, when I went through the rarities and checked out the uncommon, 
there was someone selling two sets here an uncommon rainbow for 1800 wax and when I look at the spreadsheet 1800 wax is exactly how much uh, the value that you'll get back in three epochs um, and if our Fox goes up of course you'd get more value so that's actually a really good deal now not as good of a deal if I look over here at some of my other ones I you know I could for only 2100 wax the blood orange 18 superset I'd be able to get 2800 uh, wax back in value so uh, I, I'm not gonna buy those but for someone that doesn't want to do all this thinking and collecting and tubing and all that kind of stuff and just wants to buy this and stake it that's actually a really good deal um, you're gonna double your money within a year so <laughs> Your 145 bucks will become $300, plus you'll still have the cogs that you can do something with. And if I go up to like the rare, there's a rare superset for 3500 And if I go over to my spreadsheet, a rare superset, well, so it's close, but again I can create my own for cheaper, so I wouldn't jump on that one. So then the other thing I thought about was, well maybe I should look at just building a set. Like if I look at the commons, they're being listed for 550, and I could build a common rainbow for like 230, 225. So for less than half the price. So I'm tempted to maybe try and build one of these sets, say the Cog Kid one for 220 wax, and then hop on here and throw it for sale for for 500 or even 400 and someone might just scoop it up and uh, and and then I make a quick quick turnover on the wax now when I take a look up here at my balance I can see I have 6800 wax however I had 118 to start so 6688 plus 118 six, yeah actually they they delivered on on their promise so Hard to say if uh, if it would have been cheaper if I had gone through Qcoin. I'm I think it's pretty close and uh, a whole lot easier. So um, be curious if other people have had experiences with Changely or actually taken the time to do both transactions and do a comparison through Qcoin versus uh, Change Now. But uh, I was happy. I think I might have said Changely there, which is another uh, product that does the same service. So that's the price of tubes versus just buying it on your own and now the staking. So I want to show you the next part of this adventure. So I'm going to go ahead with this Denarius second edition slammers. I'm also choosing this in part because I think the common cogs may become worth less over time. It's hard to say because when the slam game comes out you're going to need 40 common cogs. However, I also see um, there's some sort of sale coming out next week and cog, common cogs are going to become readily available. So I'm more inclined to shy away from these sets, even though they'll pay for themselves in terms of our fox. Um, their, their return is pretty much costing me what it's going to buy. I might do this uh, Wuzu set at the end because I have three or four of them and it's down to 65%, so that's a pretty good deal. But... Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to do the superset or if I wanted to do the denarius. The denarius set is a rainbow, which means I have a whole lot of the same coin uh, or same cog. And so if, you know, there's there's less speculation there in that one of them might become really popular or worth something, going with the superset does ensure I have a playable set and also that I have one of every type of cog within that um, rare category and so some of those may become worth more just as individual cogs let me ask on discord I asked on discord if they would rather have three rare supersets or one rare rainbow tough one but we'll go with the slammer and that was kind of what I was thinking too and the reason I was asking that is with the 6800 or whatever um, wax that I have I could get these three supersets at a discounted price um, of only 76% but 
uh, for this, I get three times as much reward, and it's only a 70% cost on the denarius. So let's go ahead and start buying this denarius set. So in the Wax Explorer, here's my denarius uh, rare slammers, and I will click this icon there to start purchasing. It will go and connect to the Atomic uh, Marketplace, Atomic Hub Marketplace, and show me all the ones that I am missing. You will see here it shows cheapest missing, second slammers, second edition slammers, rare, and uh, I do need to add the criteria of the denarius. And by default, it sorts it by price, which um, when there's two that have the same price, uh, it ends up showing both. And so if you just start clicking along through in price order, um, you can end up buying uh, doubles that you don't need. So I like to sort it by border because you can see here it's showing 73 results. However, if I go and look and see what I need, um, I only need 53. I have three, I need 53 more to go, so it's, there's lots that are priced at the exact same price. And so by sorting it by border, I can then make a decision as to which one I want. And generally, if it's the same price, I go with the one that has the lower mint number. So I'll, unless it's a 42, then I always pick the 42 because, well, hey, that's part of my username and it's kind of fun. So this one's going to cost 60, so I hit buy, buy, and it will automatically buy it for me and add it to my collection and I don't need this one because I just bought um, number 29 of the same for the same price so every now and then I'll I'll re-press the find button just to uh, freshen up my results uh, but you can see I have a very slow internet so sometimes I'm I just figure things out as I go and this is the cheapest one of that one so I'll buy it and I'll just carry along buying these and uh, once I have a full set, I'll uh, I'll show you what's next. All right, I'm getting a weird error on these last two, and I'm noticing I'm out of funds. So either people were buying it while I was buying it, or I accidentally bought some doubles and wasn't really paying attention. But that means I've got to send some more wax because I don't want to be this close and then not uh, carry on with it. Ready. Refreshing the page, let's find out if I have a full set ready to stake. I don't know why it's still showing the 3 out of 56 there, maybe I'd have to log out, log back in, but I can see that I have a complete set. I go to the cogs.atomichub.io and I can click the cogs tools, pull up my normal slammer, I can see it's showing that I have 62, which I believe I only needed 49, so I think I accidentally bought 3 extra which is why I blew my budget and uh, I did end up transferring some more over and uh, if I right click open a new tab inventory I can see they are all here let's see what duplicates I have oh it looks like I have more than three duplicates well I was probably clicking a little too fast and uh, the buy 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 so now I'm gonna be stuck trying to sell uh, some of these so I should have paid more attention because six of these is equal to a common set that I could have purchased instead and staked so take your time and make sure you're not getting doubles as you go through this process uh, I'm gonna blame myself and not blame uh, wax floor because I was rushing a bit either way we should now be able to go and stake so I come on over to cogs.gg forward slash my dash collection so the my collection of cogs and I can log in use my wax cloud wallet you can see I don't have any tubes in here it's a little bit confusing at first and that's because they're currently staked I have four tubes staked I have a rainbow set I wish I could see whether it was a common or uncommon or what, what the status of the rainbow was on the side here but anyways I have a rainbow I have a superset 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 I don't know what rarities those are I can't tell uh, from the side angle my tubes I have none but I'm about to have a tube so we will go with the denarius oh, it seems to have only loaded three of them that is odd we know we have a lot more well those are gold ones too so those aren't even the ones I'm collecting 
Huh. Well, maybe it takes a few minutes to uh, synchronize. All right, I've let it sit for a little bit here. Let's take a look and see. Aha! Looks like they have finally synced. So if I click one, it just automatically goes down to the bottom, starts filling up the set. There they are, coming. One, this side, that side. I feel like I've found some sort of horde. All right, so now I have enough in here that I can create a tube. So I hit create tube. I have it set to automatically oh, process, but I have to log in. Single click login, which is great about wax. Try this again, create tube. Now I can come over to my tubes. And there it is, rainbow set, second edition. And I don't know how to tell that it's rare. That's the only thing. Maybe if I memorize the colors, it's the only feedback I would give on these tubes. And how do I stake it? Maybe I click it. Aha! Oh, it's a slammer rainbow set. So it does actually say that it's a slammer. In the profile, it says that it's a rare. Oh, I can 3D kind of view it. I can click show assets so it'll reveal all the assets that are inside so I can see the numbers. That's a new addition that they didn't have before. And I can hit stake tube. Tubes successfully staked. So now when I go to my stakes, it is five. There are five of them, which will give me 1,950 RFOX every 90 days. And 1,950 RFOX at the current rate is 262 US dollars. So every 90 days, I'll get 262 dollars worth of RFOX after four cycles just shy of a thousand dollars worth of RFOX and if RFOX goes up in value I'll get a higher amount. Okay I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an adventure if you're watching this video right away on the first day that I release it here I'll let you know there's still the Blood Orange 18 for 2100 wax the Granny Smith 15 and the Blood Orange 13 those are all three of those are great deals right now uh, to buy and stake and follow along with this video and um, join in and I think you'll you'll be happy with the return that you get of course not investment advice do your own research have some fun with it but a great way to to learn how to turn some ETH into wax and uh, fill a tube with cogs stake it and get return uh, in the long run okay take care